Hello everyone, what's up? This is Anjali and today is World Mental Health Day. First of all, I want to express my gratitude to people who are helping people and supporting people who are going through mental illness or depression or any other thing that they can't share with people. And I express my gratitude to all the NGOs who are helping people. And if you know such, then do let me know. I would like to help them too. Now we are hearing mental illness, depression, mental diseases often than before and I am so happy that the taboo has been broken and after Sushant Singh Rajput we are taking it way more seriously. But what I believe is that if you are just, take, if you are just caring about your mental health and not, of the, not on the other things, it's not enough. If you are just taking care of your physical health and not on the other things, it's not enough. And if you are just taking care of your spiritual life and not on the other things, it's not enough. You have to look at your overall development and hence if you look at your overall development your mental health will be fine. So today I'm going to tell you about few books which will help you in gaining that overall development which will you know prove as a support in that development journey and before we move on to that there is one book which I guess everybody should read which is this Don't Talk About Mental Health by Arjun Gupta. This is the book which talks about mental health, it's you know the taboo related to it and what it actually is, what mental illness actually is, what depression actually is. So and there is this line which you know I really like, I'm just going to read it from here. Mental health is no longer just about helping yourself. It is a movement against an invisible crisis that breeds inside our mind. A crisis that makes you question the voice in your head. Yes, the same voice that is reading this out to you. So mental health is not just about helping yourself. It is about helping everybody. It is about fighting that invisible crisis. So yes, this is the book that you should definitely try and you know, gift it to people and your friends and family and everyone. So now let's just dig into the holistic reads recommendations. The first book is this, Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. This book is a gem. This book not only talks about your mental health, but your emotional health, your physical health, your financial health. It focuses on overall development and this book is literally a gem. It has so many things that you can't even think about. This book has helped me a lot. This book has helped me learn about emotions a lot and how words affect us, how words can change our emotions and so many things. This book is a gem for all of you and I highly recommend you to read this book. The next book is Live Love Love by Manjeet Sargam Chavla. This book talks about how you can apply the principles of yoga into your life and not just that. It also talks about how to manifest anything that you want into your life but only positive things because negative vibrations, negative thoughts have negative effects as well. So and after reading this book, I used to think a lot about vibrations, energy that I'm giving out, energy the other person is giving and how my thoughts are affecting my mood and so many things and this book has all of these things and so many other things in detail. So yes, this book made it to the list of holistic reads recommendation. The next recommendation is Push Start to Auto Start by Anu Kushwaha. This book will help you gain mental clarity. It will show you how to take control of your life and how to make it worth living. This book has a little bit of spiritual side and it also talks about yogic sciences, yoga, how to implement them and a lot about yoga and yoga exercises which was really interesting to read and this is the book that I recommend to beginners if they ask me for an overall holistic self-development self-help book so yes the last book is this you can beat cancer this is the book that I'm currently reading this book I know that talks about cancer but it talks a lot about what we should do what we should not do which lifestyle habits can you know affect you and which lifestyle habits are good which food and how you should eat it and what you should not eat 
and so many things like this so i am learning a lot right now from this book about holistic living and i have started to take control of my food and everything and you should definitely give this book a try so these are the books that you should read and you should recommend these books or this video to people who are on the holistic journey like holistic development journey or self development journey and there is one more thing that i want to say to you that it's okay to be sad sometimes like we can we cannot be happy all the time and that is not realistic and that is not healthy at all so it's okay to have emotions what matters is the way you process your emotions and the way you keep yourself positive just like today i wasn't feel like shooting anything so what i did i just got dressed up and i just started to dance and i felt good and then i set to shoot so you have sometimes you have to put efforts to make yourself happy so just focus on that and spread good vibes in the world and i just hope that you take care of your mental health physical health emotional health financial health and every other thing like just the way you are taking care of the thing that is important to you if you feel a little bit of positivity while watching this video then my work is done and i just hope that these books help you in your holistic journey and if not then do let me know and if they do then do let me know i'll see you guys next time happy readings bye bye